All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187. Yo, uh, I swear to God, hell is about to freeze over. First off, we we finally have a Republican governor here in Maryland. Larry Hogan beat um, Martin O'Malley's little bitch Anthony Brown uh, Tuesday. Beat him by like almost a hundred thousand votes. So um, we took like we in the. We beat the shit out of the uh, Democrats, took the Senate, and took like 14 more seats in the House. And now, the Cleveland Browns are leading the AFC North. Which is probably the most shocking of all, especially how they did it. But um, Yesterday on my picks video, I said it was going to be a close game. I picked Cincinnati 21-20. But after the game, you know, I went and actually looked up uh, Andy Dalton's stats on... And yo, he's atrocious on Thursday night football. In fact, yo, he's really he's atrocious in primetime games. Period, especially Monday night and Thursday night. But um, yeah, yo, after I saw that, I went on my Facebook and Twitter, and I was like, yo, there there is no no way, no chance in hell that Andy Dalton and the Bengals have a chance of beating the Browns. And I was right. Any of y'all don't know what my Facebook and Twitter is? Just go to my uh. Channel page on YouTube, and in the top, on the top uh, header thing, there's two buttons: a Facebook and a Twitter button. I'll take you to both my, uh, both my pages. But um, yeah, shit, it's 24 to three. They done yanked Andy Dalton out, yo. That motherfucker, he can't do anything right tonight. Like, he he can't do a damn thing right to save his life. So they got Jason Campbell in now. Um. But I mean, in Andy Andy Dalton's uh, defense, their receivers are dropping balls everywhere. I just watched them drop two more. I don't even know who that guy is. Number eighty-three. Who is this? Let me see. <laughs> Campbell just got thrown on the ground like a little bitch. Well, I didn't show who it was, but um, yeah. So, Cleveland leading the AFC North. Who the thought it? But. If you remember two years ago, in my, uh, I think it was the year we won the Super Bowl, my preseason predictions, I said, not last year. Well, I said last year the Browns are going to be a pretty good team, a hard to beat team. They only won like six games, but they were a tough team to beat last year. And uh, I said two years they'd be, they'd be in the playoffs. And what do you know? A little bit over halfway through the season, and they're leading the AFC North. I mean, it, it's a close. It's the best division in football. Every I think it's the only division where every team has a winning record. Um, my team is playing like absolute ass right now because our quarterback sucks balls. Uh, for some reason, we don't like going out and picking up defensive backs at all. We, we Harbaugh wants a bunch of people that can play fucking special teams, but not fucking play defensive back. Mm. He wants people that can cover punts, but people that suck at fucking playing uh, corner and free safety. It's so stupid. But yeah, Cleveland. Leading the AFC North. I, it's not going to last. I mean, it's definitely not going to last. But yo, they're, they're, gonna be, they're a tough team for teams to beat. Yo. They're, they're built well. They got three good running backs, a good quarterback who doesn't turn the ball over. Two good tight ends and a pretty good defense. I'm surprised though. I'm surprised that, uh, especially with how windy it is, and Cincinnati came out and just tried throwing the ball. They didn't even really try running. Uh, and I'm sure on like the third drive when uh, Jeremy Hill fumbled the ball, that deterred them from running a little bit. But if I were them, I would have stuck with it because like two drives after that, he was breaking off ten yard runs like they were nothing. If they would have started with the run and stayed with the run, I think it would have been a closer game. But they put it in Andy Dalton's hands, and that's one place you do not want the ball when the game's on the line, is in Andy Dalton's hands, unless they're playing against Baltimore in a 1 o'clock game. If it's a, if it's a primetime game, you definitely don't want Dalton touching the ball. But yeah, alright, I'm out. Peace.